Hey there, I am Parth Doshi, exploring the field of RPA and sharing my learnings with you by making videos. So in this video, okay, so this is going to be a new playlist on my YouTube channel, which is going to be related to storage buckets in UiPath on Orchestrator. So till now we might have heard or read documentation of what are storage buckets, how to use them, how to configure them, in which process we can use, how we can use. So in this complete uh, playlist of videos, which I will be uploading every day or maybe every two or three days, each video, and that will be learning different storage activities available in UiPath. So first let's see what are storage activities and how we can use them. So before that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to redirect to my orchestrator where I can see that particular option of storage buckets. So as the name suggests, it's something like a uh, online cloud storage, you can say on orchestrator. Our orchestrator is a cloud application only. So as we can see over here, if I go to my default folder and there's a storage bucket option over here. So what are storage buckets? Let's read them about, about them in the official documentation. So storage buckets are used to provide a pre-folder storage solution for RPA developers to leverage in creating automation projects. So now it basically allows us to store our files that we are processing. So suppose I'm doing document understanding, I'm processing 10 files, which I want also to be stored on my orchestrator when they're processed. So how I can do that? I can just, I can just create the folders as well in my local system, but what if a cloud storage option is available? So in that case, are these this storage buckets will be helpful to us. Here storage buckets are created within the scope of a given folder. This enables you to use the fine grained permission and role assignment models of the folders to control access to the storage buckets. Now, as we can see over here, it's there in a particular folder. I can create a new process action, catalog, test set, bucket. Over here, there are different options. So as we see over here, there are different options in storage buckets as this point says. There are different roles assigned to different users in an orchestrator. So depending upon the role, we can provide that particular access to that particular user. So now let's first create a storage bucket. And in this video, we are going to see only one set of activity that we'll see how we can use in UiPath Studio. But we are going to see how we can upload a file from my UiPath Studio to the orchestrator. Now what's a one more best part of this? A best part is that you need not upload your process as a package. So as we normally do when we want to run our process to the orchestrator, what we basically do is we create the process, we click on publish, and then it's available on the orchestrator. But in this case, that is not required. In this case, we just need to create that orchestrator process. And once we do that, we can just upload the file using the storage activities available in UiPath. That's very simple and easy to use. So you see, this is my processing storage bucket that I've created. And in that I have one file already uploaded. We are going to see how we can upload another. So what you need to do is you need to just simply go to storage buckets, click on this particular button, and you see there are different storage buckets available. The one is orchestrator, then there is Azure storage where you need to give your Azure credentials that are container name, endpoint suffix, and et cetera. And there is Amazon S3. So we are going to just simply use orchestrator. Here you need to give the name for the storage bucket that you are trying to create or you want to create. So here you define the name, which I've already done. There are bucket options, read only, audit, read access, which you can give. So once you give the name, let me say demo, you can just simply add it. I have already done that with a name called processing. And now where is my this processing storage bucket? This is under my folder default, available actions for default, as you can see. So there's a folder already created and I'm using the community edition. So you can use the storage buckets and learn this as well. There's no problem in that. Okay, so I've simply created my first storage bucket. Now going back to UiPath and creating our first storage bucket. Let me open my UiPath. Okay, so once we open the UiPath Studio, what we need to do over here is we need not create this particular simple process. We need to create an orchestration process. Implement a process through service orchestration and human interaction as well as through long learning transactions. So this is a complete new template. There are different sets of activities called UiPath.persistent activities which have been developed 
to involve human in the process execution to help you create more reliable workflows and also involve two parts in a particular automation involving human and one is processing the user files or documentation or anything like that using the storage buckets and all that so in this when we create a normal process we see excel mail system different activities packages are already available but when you create an orchestration process you will be having not a sequence but you will be having a flow chart along with the persistent activities already installed we are going to see what are persistent activities how we can use them everything in detail in this complete playlist so don't worry about that okay so i've already created the process which i'm going to open so you see this is the default process and these are the this is the one which i had installed but by default only comes to that are persistent and the system activities so persistent activities help you create long learning workflows which can involve human and it has lot of applications which you can explore there's a complete course on ui path academy as well orchestration process you can explore that but here we are going to go step by step so since we are learning and exploring the storage activities you can see inside the available there is orchestrator then there is storage and there there are different storage activities which we can use delete storage file download storage file list storage file read storage file upload and write so what we are going to do in this video is we are going to see how we can upload one file from our system to the orchestrator without actually publishing the process but you need to be connected to the orchestrator so make sure that you are connected so these are already available in the persistent package you need not install any manage packages by going to manage packages or anything this will be already available so i'm just going to simply drag this at my start now what all information do i need to provide i need to give the destination i need to give the storage bucket name and i need to give the path so what i'm going to do is my bucket name is going to be processing as i already showed you okay my destination so the file that i'm uploading over here what name i want to give to this particular file so and also you need to define the extension of the file that you want to upload otherwise it will go as an corrupt file in your storage bucket so suppose i want to upload a png file with some specific name so i can write demo.png so that's what i'm going to do demo.png so now when a file is uploaded from my system maybe whatever its name it in the destination it will be as demo.png we have to specify a path okay so let's pick uh, any particular image so let me go to my youtube folder and i'm going to upload this so i have to take the complete path over here panel new and let me just paste over here okay so what were the properties that i had to define from that was the path involved which file i want to upload to my storage bucket then there was destination that is in the destination what name i want to see that file as and the bucket name which is definitely required because our ui path studio should know in which exactly the storage bucket since we have only one we are specifying processing there can be hundreds of buckets you might have created for different things so here is the bucket name that i have defined and after that what i am going to do is i am going to stop the process so this is done let me see so you see my orchestrator is already connected default there is the cloud url default so there was a very simple activity you see upload storage file let me save and execute the workflow let me minimize this so let's wait for the execution to get completed you see it is running and the execution is completed now let's go to our processing and you see demo is available over here so image that i uploaded was this one banner new let me go over here download this image and you can easily download all the storage files we already have an activity for that as well but we are not going to see that in this video we will see that later let me open it and it will be the same image that i had uploaded from my system so you see this is my screen wallpaper as well so this is the file that we have uploaded 
you can upload n number of files with n number of extensions whatever you want to upload with that's not a problem so suppose how can you bulk upload over here so what can you do you can read specific you can read files from a folder in the path you can definitely give the path in the for each and in the destination you can first take that file name and store it in the variable that same variable you can pass over here along with the extension so all the files from one particular folder will be uploaded so you see in one simple step it's hardly just one activity i did not publish my process i did not do anything what i did is i connected by orchestrator i created a storage bucket that is a cloud storage for my process and i just simply uploaded the file from my local system to the cloud orchestrator i can use it whenever i want in whichever process i want i can delete that storage file i can download list read the storage text write storage text and the upload is the one which we already saw so i hope you understood the concept of what are storage buckets how we can use them how we can upload our files single files or multiple files with a particular set of extensions use a png or anything like that to our orchestrator and use that as a cloud storage thank you for watching the complete video i hope you were able to understand the complete concept and if you have any doubts you can write in the comment section or you can contact me my contact details are available make sure we are connected on linkedin for further updates on different videos thank you for watching the complete video